Hi there, Andrew Crude from yourserverzone.net. Okay, so today we are going to be looking at the uh, way to import uh, contacts that you may have from a offline marketing business or uh, when you're manually doing emails to your contacts or your subscribers or your customers uh, and you want to bring them into Aweber because you've uh, moved into an automated system and you want to uh, get those people onto your uh, current list so that everything's centralized because that's the whole point of having a list is having everything in one place. So we're going to again use our coffee widgets list here. We're going to go up to subscribers and we're going to go down to uh, add subscribers so that's the second option here in the subscribers tab okay and you've got a, two different ways of doing this okay so if you've got less than 10 people you want to add you can manually add them here and we'll go through that in a minute the other way is you can actually import large groups uh, via a number of different methods so we'll go through the 10 or less than 10 to start with so if you just click add subscribers there and what you do is you just add their name, add their email, and uh, you just go through there. So, and what you want to do is you need to um, put it, you can put in ad tracking, you know, maybe this is, you put in here Outlook list or Yahoo mail list or Gmail contacts or whatever it is, so you know how they were added. Um, now, what you need to remember is this is going to only allow, um, well, what it's going to do is send an email to this person saying that you've added them and they need to confirm it so it is a bit um, of a two-step process it's not guaranteed so you may what you may do is send out something manually to these people especially if it's only 10 people saying I'm gonna be adding you to our new list so please confirm this do that okay so if I go back to the add subscriber and we go import and this is what most people will probably be doing um, you want to add more than 10 people at a time so which list would you like to add these to obviously you can choose any list that you have going uh, we're going to go next now a couple of ways you can do it you can manually copy and paste each email address into the right hand side here or you can actually drag a file here um, and you can use any of these kind of files so we'll just go uh, we'll drag a file here um, so that would then give you the option of doing that um, so basically what we want you to do uh, is have something set up with all your information on it. now if you want to manually do it here you just pop in their name and email addresses so you can uh, copy and paste there as well um, that's really simple way to do it uh, you gotta have one at least so just bear with me I'm just going to pop in mine there we go okay so I've got just my one of my email addresses there I've popped in so we've got at least one so we can go through this process now map subscriber info so what you want to do is the information make sure that you're putting it in the right spot because obviously you could put in name you could put it on all these other details so this is that this is an email address so we're making sure that that is correct and then what Aweber asks you is how you got this information okay again they don't want people just getting a whole lot of email addresses and putting it in here and then uh, people kind of being a bit upset maybe because you're um, using this to send them information they never actually wanted so uh, if you have used a previous autoresponder or you've captured people's information through like a newsletter or a paper sign-up sheet at the shopping center or in your store or something you can import it this way and you can see here there's some options so they've signed up on my website given me the information in person etc purchased product or service purchase this list etc so let's say you know that you know this person gave me the information so again it asks even more details where when how did the subscribers signed up so if you had a meeting say you um, are a face-to-face -face marketer and you've now moving to the online um, world you could uh, put here uh, info provided at meeting held on 10th July 2014 okay and then what that'll do is that'll track it so that if people come back and go oh this person's spamming me then this can be like well this is what they told us 
Um, from another email provider? No. If you put yes here, you can hear, you know, you've got some of the other uh, autoresponders that are out there. Um, and that would be an option there as well. So if we go next, it's going to go there. So how sh should we send your first follow up to these subscribers? Say yeah, yes. Um, once the import is approved, uh, and then you may want to set them up to a different message, depending on where they're at. Um, or you can just say no, nothing, send nothing. So what you're going to do is, of course, is send the first follow-up message um, and do that. And again, like it says, it does need to be approved. So if we go next, we're now almost all the way across the top here. So edit your confirmation message. So again, you don't have an option with this. Uh, as you would have seen from one of my earlier messages, you can turn opt-in confirmation off um, for your capture pages. Uh, this is kind of a mandatory thing. So what we can do though, we can customize this message. Okay, So um, that would be here where you would normally do this in list options. So here you might put something um, down about Thank you for um, signing up at our meeting on the 10th of July. This is just to confirm we are entering your email address in our email system. Um, please click on the link below to confirm. Something like that. So if you do that, that would be the uh, best way of changing that. Okay, and then what we do is we finish the import. Okay. And what that's going to do is that's now going to send an email to that email address I put in there and it will uh, allow me to click on it and then that will be added to the list. Okay, that's about it. Again, you can now see go back to history, which is under the subscriber input history as well. So subscribers submitted and then added. So once that's confirmed, it'll be added um, and then that's all set. Okay, hopefully this helps you uh, bring your current list into your Aweber account because again, really important to have your list. That's your only asset online. Uh, if you're 100% online marketing, if you have a, a real world <laughs> brick and mortar business, um, uh, this kind of asset is really important as well because it allows you to centralize your marketing um, to all your people, whether it's online or offline. Okay, have a great day. Thanks for watching uh, and stay tuned to more videos about how to do things in Aweber. And uh, please subscribe to our channel and check out the information at the end. Have a great day. Bye.